Hello, Mark Crossfield here in my hand today. I've got the Titleist 913 D3 hitting up against the Titleist 910 D3, both nine and a half. So we're going to use one shaft, give these two clubs a hit and see what all the fuss is about. Let's get stuck in. Here we go then guys, 9.13, Titleist D3, hitting up against 9.10, we've got Trapman on. I'm going to do five balls with each, just to give you an idea, and then we'll look at the data at the end and see if there is any difference for me with these two drivers. Let's go five with 9.13 to kick us off. Again, this is going to require me to hit, hopefully, equivalent shots with each, but I'll see how I do. Okay, that's five shots with 9.13. So let's swap this over for nine and a half D3910. So many numbers of these, I'm getting lost with which one I'm in. So I've just hit 9.13, that's five shots. We're gonna look at the data at the end. There was two strikes in there which weren't fantastic, but that's how I'd hit it if I was playing. So we go same shaft, same setting A1. Now we're gonna go 9-10. Old versus new. Obviously we get the marketing, the hype, the bump, videos. This is me just hitting five with each. And let's see if it would make me change up for the later model if I already had this one. Here we go. So let's hit five with nine, ten. Same loft, same setting, same shaft. Okay, that's five with nine, ten. Let's get on track, man. Look at the data and see if there's any real difference between these two clubs. So looking at the data with the two groups of shots there, the first five here, which we're looking at here, is the 9.13, so the newer one. Ball speed's averaging 1.32. Um, I'm spin rating, or my spin rate's around 3,100. Launch angle 12.6, I'm 1.8 attack angle up, hitting it on the rise, with 100 mile an hour club head speed. If we compare that to the second five numbers here, so club head speed's the same, so we're in here, we're just under a mile an hour different. Attack angle's very similar, less than a degree difference. Uh, launch angle is almost identical. So they're launching the same off the face. The spin rate 3197 with the 910. If we go back, it's 3140. I mean, it's, there's not enough in it. It's spinning the same. Um, side angle with both. I was a little bit more wild, but not much. This is uh, feet we're talking about here, 23 feet to 14 feet. And then ball speed, here you go. Ball speed 136 with the older club, 910. 132 with the newer one. And on these stats, I actually got, when I look at Chapman, I got nine more yards out of the older one than the newer one for me. Now this isn't the most scientific of tests. If you wanted to test if these two clubs, is one is actually better than the other, you would need the robot test. You, you would need to use really scientific conditions, same hit every time, um, exactly the same ball, all the rest of it. When a human hits it like me, and I'd say my stats are pretty consistent, as you can see there, there's no kind of ups and downs in those. For me, out of those two, the new one wouldn't be enough to change from the old one. 
Now, what an interesting point is, for me out of the two, definitely the 913 feels, and the face feels different, the sound is different, as a tightly say, the acoustics is different. The 913 feels much nicer. So if I did this test again, and I found that I didn't keep getting extra distance with the old one, which to be honest with you, I don't think I would. For me, they're performing almost identical. It's more, where did I hit the ball on the face on both of these batches of shots, which Trackman doesn't tell us. Uh, and like I've kind of suggested in other videos, where you hit the ball on the face is everything. I mean, it's almost, it's a massive percentage of one shot, as in if it goes left and right and distance, obviously. So for me, out of those two clubs, not much in it. The feel, I'd go 9.13 all day long. The looks, not much in it. They're very similar. Um, on that stats, I would have to stick with 910 because it's gone nine yards further. But I've done fittings with them and I've seen people go definitely get more yardage with the new one. And I've got a couple of local pros who've gone for the new one and they have definitely got more yardage out of the new one. So again, it's custom fitting, isn't it? You've got to go, go and hit it, get on your launch monitor and see what it does for you. But for me, same shaft, two heads, really not much in it interesting one hope you like this comparison if you haven't got any 910s 913s any tightless drivers definitely one to go and try if you want a good performing driver because what i like with both of these stats is they're both performing very very well if you've got the 910 already definitely go and have a fitting with the 913 or get to your shops and go and hit it but uh, you want to monitor which one's going better because for me not much in it if anything the old one was slightly better thanks for watching and let me know what you think post comments as always so if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.